Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool brass elephant and this is BJ's elephant and he purchased this off of eBay and had it sent directly to us and so now we want to do some initial checks on this telephone now we already repaired an issue on this handset okay where the horn fits on the handset itself it didn't fit real well and the issue was someone installed the wrong size screws and it basically kind of wallered out the holes that would be your mounting holes and so there's three screws here they're the wrong size and they were actually too big for the job and so we removed them and stabilized the horn for the handset so that's already been taken care of there's another issue where this telephone does not have any dial tone we also found that the rotary the mounting for the rotary where the elephant's standing here is super loose so what we want to do is go into that because I want to go into the rotary anyway so we'll be showing you some different issues along the way through the video but uh, what we want to show you now is I want to ring this telephone let that go one more time now it did seize the analyzer but there's no dial tone there's also no transmit and if I try to dial the telephone it just dials the number but it hangs up here it sees that analyzer it kind of clicks the analyzer hang up did not seize the analyzer that time and no dial tone so there's some issues now we'll try to dial a number it's like the telephone is uh, seized the line but nothing's working properly so we want to show you the inside of this telephone we're gonna scoot it around I have the saddle off and that's your network if you've never seen one of these telephones open and then the bell is on the back side now we'll go ahead and ring the bell again I want to hang the hook switch up here so we'll go ahead and ring the bell We'll release the hook switch. And then it seized the analyzer. But I can hang up, and it doesn't actually hang up. So this telephone has some issues, and we need to get them squared away for BJ. So what we're going to do is take a short break from the video, and we'll get some more video as we move forward in the repair of this telephone we'll be right back okay we're back now and we're going to show you a little bit about what's going on the issue with the network has been taken care of so that's been put back together again we have the rotary out because we needed to take the housing that holds the rotary and tighten that up if you remember earlier in the video that was all loose now it's very tight and it won't uh, be a problem any longer so if you've never seen one of these rotaries out of one of these units this is the rotary that has been cleaned adjusted and oiled so we want to go ahead and it's smooth now like it's supposed to be we 
we're going to go ahead and plug this telephone in. We have another issue. This telephone has an old style T1 as a transmitter. And so what happens when these get old is they create a bunch of noise and static sensation in the line. So what we want to do is change it. I want to show you what's going on with the handset now that everything's been repaired. And we'll go ahead and plug the telephone in, give you some dial tone. I'm going to dial a 2. Now it showed up on the analyzer, but you're going to hear a bunch of static. Now if you can hear that static sensation, that's coming from the transmitter and that's going to cause a bunch of static sensation. We'll do that again. We'll hang up. Give you some dial tone. We'll dial a 2. And you can hear all that static sensation. So now what we want to do is we want to take a short break from the video. We're going to go ahead and install our new transmitter, our T1, and then we're going to put everything back together again and come back and do our final check. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and we are finished up with the repair of this telephone. And so what we want to do is go through a little bit about what went on. We had to take care of some issues with the handset, and that's been taken care of. The receive and transmit has been gone through. We replaced the T1, and these older style T1s can get noisy. Uh, they'll cause a static sensation in the receive, and a lot of people will equate that with the handset cord, and it's usually always the T1. When these get some age on them, they will cause that static sensation. And even new old stock, even the new ones sometimes can cause a little static. But uh, this one was really bad, so we replaced it. And we can set that to the side. It's of no use to us. And so we also went through the rotary, cleaned, adjusted, and oiled that. It is a lot smoother now. We went through the network and repaired that issue. So we kind of went through a little bit of everything with this telephone. Now what we want to do is our final checks. So I want to go ahead and plug the unit in, and then we want to ring the telephone. We're going to let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time. Give you some dial tone. Now if you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. I want to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the handset. So if you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six, hello, hello. Now what we can do is I have a switch box here, and if I press this button, that gives us a line out and totally takes the analyzer out of the situation. And we can call a time and temp number. Now they're having problems with their equipment and you'll hear the recording start and then there'll be a hum and then the recording will continue. So we'll go ahead and call that time and temp number, give you some dial tone.
Becoming mostly cloudy tonight, lows in the mid-40s. Tuesday, showers likely in the morning. Chance of a shower and a thunderstorm in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-60s. Okay. We can call one other number. We can call my number, and it'll be busy. We'll go ahead and give you some dial tone. Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired, we can return it to BJ and he can start enjoying this elephant. He hasn't even had the elephant yet. It was sent directly to us after an eBay purchase and now it's been repaired and he can enjoy this telephone. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at wwwa one telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.